Hello everyone. So last week Microsoft released a preview of their DirectML backend for TensorFlow. This is good news for AMD and Intel GPU users that want to do machine learning on Windows. Because up until now there was no solution to leverage those GPUs with, with TensorFlow. As it says on their GitHub page, it supports most DirectX 12 compatible device. As you can see, uh, what's interesting is that it supports even more cards than Rockem and the default CUDA backend. If you saw my previous videos about Rockem on Linux, many users were asking about unsupported AMD cards. If you're one of them, you should try DirectML. That said, DirectML is only supported on Windows and the Windows subsystem for Linux. Maybe in the future they will make a wheel that supports Linux. Uh, hopefully they do. So if you have an MD card and want to use the Windows subsystem for Linux, you need to install a preview driver for MD. You can find here on this page. I will put all the links and instructions uh, in the description down below. So quickly to set up TensorFlow DirectML on Windows, it's quite easy. You have two choices, either use uh, WSL if you need Linux compatibility or install it directly like I will show you now. You first need to download Python environment installer. Make sure to install 3.7 because 3.8 is not compatible with TensorFlow DirectML. So the installer is pretty straightforward. You just make sure to select the add Python directory to path variable option and uh, that's it. After you need to install TensorFlow DirectML with a pip install TensorFlow. And that's it. So I even thought this is just a preview. I was curious about the performance of my RX 580 with DirectML compared to Rockem. So first let's try a classic ResNet 50 benchmark you can find on TF's GitHub. As you can see the performance is quite low. With uh, Rockem 3.3 I get 88 image second. So I reported this case on DirectML's GitHub issue page and someone replied with a test on their uh, GTX 1080 Ti with similar lower performance. So it's not just uh, an issue with AMD cards. So that's it, this is all normal, it's a preview, so there's still lots of optimization work ahead. Next we can try the YOLO sample they provide on their GitHub. As you can see, we get over 100 milliseconds per frame for inference. Uh, training the YOLO, I trained the YOLO model with the data set they provide, but I get errors, so I cannot show it for now. Uh, next, we can try OpenAI Baseline for those who like training AI on games. As you can see, the performance is terrible. On the same machine, I get uh, 1,200 FPS, more or less, with uh, GTX 1060. I try also Stable ba Baseline. It's a fork of Baseline, and I get close to 600 FPS. So you can try that. Next, I was also curious to try on my Intel integrated 620 GPU on my laptop. Uh, let's first try with my CPU. Uh, it's an i7 8850U, 4 cores, 8 threads. As you can see, the frame time is twice that of the RX 480 as to be expected.
Now let's try with the GPU. Now you can see the performance is even worse than my laptop, the CPU. Actually, the performance is terrible, as you can see. But at least it works, and once optimized, it can uh, make for very cheap 8GB plus cards. So to conclude, this was just some quick tests. As they put in more optimization, I will do more extensive tests and keep you posted. Also, I wish this was open source. So we could help the, with the optimization as there was a wide range of cards to support. Like for example, I tried with an old Bay Trail uh, Intel integrated GPU and uh, it doesn't work. So, but since we don't have the source code, it's hard to debug. <laughs> if Microsoft can pull this off, it will greatly help democratize machine learning. So I hope it works. Thanks for watching and don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, please ask them down below.